What's going on YouTube? So I've been meaning to give you guys a Net Duma review. Um it's it's taken me a little bit. I've been, you know, new kid on the way. I've been trying to uh, prep for all of that and uh, among other things that I won't get into on this video, but um I'll give you guys what I know about the Net Duma uh an honest review as far as like is it worth it? And I'll just jump in and say yes, it is worth it, especially especially if you're a console gamer. Um, and you guys are fans of the older Call of Duties where, you know, it's peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking. Or even on a newer Call of Duties like Black Ops 3, and I'm on PC. I ended up getting into lobbies with no higher than, and on PC it'll show ping instead of bars. Uh, the, the connection bars that you guys see on console, those aren't really accurate. Numbers are more accurate than a, a graph bar. So, on PC, I've never gotten past the 50 ping so i'd be in the 30s 40s 55 maybe max 60 if you know if, if i can't find any other lobbies but you know that's as high as it goes and that's very very good anything that's in the uh 90s and up is you'll you'll start seeing a difference in your in your connection and whatnot but as far as as this goes this has definitely helped my matchmaking ping uh it's wonderful so as far as this goes, host filtering, pretty much, I'm going to go to Miles real quick. So, basically, you start off by choosing where your home location is. So, you're going to push this little home icon, push that, and you're going to place wherever it is that you live. In the U.S., if you're in Canada, if you're over here in Europe, Africa, South America, wherever, dude, Australia, wherever the case may be, you can place your marker and pretty much go from there but if you guys want to be anal and you guys want to be accurate about it you hit this x we'll zoom in so let's say i live in florida i'm going to zoom in on florida bam Ooh, let me back out a little bit missed it a little bit there wow so hopefully you've looked at the map and where you live <laughs> let's say you're in southern florida you'll you'll push this home button and you'll place it right there and then it'll add that little bubble that you guys saw in mine let me zoom back out real quick get in five so this little bubble right there is your matchmaking range so as a gamer you kind of want to set that bubble to pick up neighboring states not anything over here in texas or like i'm in wisconsin you don't want texas you don't want cali you, you know you don't you don't want all of this stuff all over here you just want your neighboring states that's that's the best way to get uh, a decent ping um as far as that goes so what you're able to do from here is if you guys want to broaden your search as well you can grab this and scroll it you can have this cover up the whole US and Canada if you want me I'll keep it up with the neighboring states that's how I've been getting my pings pretty damn well um pretty low and uh, I haven't had any issues in game so that's pretty nifty um another great thing about this software and about this router itself is the the control you have over your network so it'll show a list of devices right here and it'll give you a graph of like what's being used okay and it'll show you a percentage of your download and your upload you can have it just zero in on let's see it can uncheck all of these I could have this. This is my streaming PC. I could have it just pick up my streaming PC usage. Or if you're on Wi Fi and let's say Nikki's iPad, I just want that checked. And it'll pick up if there's any usage on that. So pretty much I would use this graph if you're having abnormal lag spikes and you're trying to figure out where it's coming from. If it's one of your devices that are soaking up the, uh, the bandwidth or if it's something wrong with your main connection in general like your modem not your router so this will definitely help zero out the problem it'll iron out some issues and uh, it'll get the process of whatever you need done done a lot quicker so there's that a VPN another gaming resource back in the day I haven't been hit with it yet because of the, the VPN setup and whatnot but huge especially in black ops 2 league play though they will hit you offline they'll ddos you just to get a win um and this was not just for black ops 2 this was just across the board if you're a streamer and you you um you totally decimated somebody in a game and they found out that you're streaming and they just want to shut down your connection and shit 
Well, VPNs will help you with that. It stands for Virtual Private Network. And I won't go into detail with that, but if you're a gamer, if you're a streamer, and you run into that a lot, this will help you definitely. So, congestion control. We'll jump over to this. You're able to set your upload and download cap. Like I said, you have like complete control over your connection on here. So, if you only want to use like say 50% of your download cap, like let's say you got 100 megs down and you want to use 50 of them. Bam, done. And you can set the priority of your like whatever which one whichever um uh what the hell device that you're trying to use right here so pretty much my upload i have it set pretty high on my streaming and high on my gaming pc because you know i stream it runs off of upload boom keep it up there pretty good um you know if i if i want to upload some footage from my gaming pc straight up you know boom done right there download same thing same concept I have it set up for both of my PCs, but you're able to adjust this web any way you see fit. However you want to see it uh, play out for you, definitely use it. Um, there's some other things that I've learned about this router that I won't cover in this video. Um, if you guys are some streamers, you know a lot of people will be picking up this router. You guys won't be streaming, but I found some ways to to, uh, to make your stream quality a lot better. I put that in another video, along with some uh, some other um, some other things that you guys might find useful, but back to the uh, the the software Wi-Fi. Obviously, when you whenever you get your router, you guys are gonna want to set up a passphrase for your router. Um, mine's peanut butter man trunk. Oh, I'm kidding, guys. I, I'm not gonna give you my passphrase. But anyways, uh, internet connection. So go to Wi-Fi. You can name whatever you want your your network to be. Boom. Add a passphrase. The only thing that I was shocked about on this router was the 2.5 or 2.4 gigahertz. Um, my old router had like a 5 gigahertz. Honestly, I didn't notice a difference between the 2.4 and the 5, but I'm sure there's something you know that I wasn't seeing that was that might have helped. I don't know, but so far it only goes up to the 2.4. I'm sure it'll increase in the future, guys. But um, that's pretty much your your, your Wi-Fi setup. I honestly, as a gamer, I've said this numerous times in stream, do not game on Wi-Fi. I don't care if you have a $1,000 router. Do not. I pray to God you guys listen to me and take heed. Do not use Wi-Fi when you're gaming. You're just going to do nothing but rage, beat your cat up, beat your dog up, beat your sister up, beat whoever up, beat yourself up. Because it's it's not it's not reliable. Always stay hardwired if you guys are trying to game. If you guys are trying to game seriously. If you guys are trying to download something fast, hardwired will always be better. So this router actually takes very good care of anybody that's hardwired into the network. Um, they're they're number one priority. So pretty much that's the gist of it as far as it, uh, what you guys would need as far as gaming goes. Um, Naturally, my my uh, NAT types were open automatically, so that was a plus. I didn't have to, to dick around with any of that stuff. So, um, if you guys have any questions, leave some in the comments. Um, maybe I could direct them to uh, you know tech support if you guys have any issues, um, or you know I might try to figure it out myself and make another video on it. But that's about all she wrote, my friends. I hope this helped. I hope this guys would uh this this would help you guys purchase the uh the NetDuma router. Like I said, it's the first gaming router. If you guys want to save some cash, use my promo code PwnStars with a Z. Save yourself some money, bruh. It's five percent off. You can't go wrong with it, man. Um and other than that, dude, it's it's reliable. Gaming, from my personal standpoint, and I've went through four or five different routers as a gaming router. This is this is badass. I like having this type of control over my network and uh, my matchmaking. Pretty much, this is the the bread and butter. Like I said, dude, matchmaking right here. Get to play with this geo filter. I mean, if you wanted to, man, you could get matchmaking for like Europe if you wanted to. If you're in the U.S., you want to play some U.K. Bam, place it over there. Done deal. So that's it. I love you guys. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe. I'll catch you later, deuces.